Hi guys, this is Deb with Happy Plants with our plant rescue for today. We have a gunny aloe variegata, commonly known as a tiger aloe. Here we can see that the plant is in distress, definitely has some sun damage. I believe it's root blocked and that's why it has some shriveled leaves. And it also has a baby, it has a pop that we need to remove. So we are going to get rid of all the dead leaves, get it a new home and remove the pop for this rescue. We are going to need cactus soil, horticultural sand, bonsai snips, those are my preference, a hori hori knife and a watering can. We are going to begin by trying to get the plant out. So we're gonna go on the edge of the pot get really in there to loosen it up and I it's gonna come out completely because it's root locked once you have your plant out we are going to massage the roots to loosen them up and we are going to gently remove the pop the baby you'll see that it'll be very easy to just gently peel it this way you can maintain the root system that it has the leaves are going to be easy to remove. You just gently peel them like a banana, basically. We are doing this to make sure that the plant focuses on new growth. So we're going to get rid of all the leaves that are sun damaged um, and shriveled. This way, plant is going to focus on getting new leaves and getting its color back. You notice that there is a stick coming up that was a old bloom. This plant blooms from July to September. It has some pinkish salmon-y blooms are very beautiful. And then once it blooms, then it dries up and you can just remove this with your hand again. We are going to plant the baby in a nice large pot. Make sure to leave a little bit of room in the middle so you get all the roots in and cover them all up. I like to compact it in so it's stable. For the mama plant, you want to get a larger pot. Aloes tend to have nice thick roots, so they need space. With this one, I am going to level off all the roots it has. Can see there are some long ones and smaller ones and I just like to level them up. I'm going to use my bonsai snips for this. This is going to help the plant get acclimated to its new home and it's also going to stimulate some new growth. Again I'm going to make sure I make a little hole in the middle and all the roots are covered and I'm going to use horticultural sand on the top I like to use this because then when I'm watering it, the soil doesn't get everywhere and doesn't come out of the pot. It definitely looks neater and it helps keep the soil in the pot. But this is completely optional. And there you have it. You want to make sure you give them a nice thorough watering after repotting them. Water after the entire dirt is dry. So if it's super hot, maybe this is twice a week, but if it's in a place that it gets enough sun but shade in the afternoon, maybe it's just once a week. Just put your finger in the dirt and see the moisture level of your pot. Thank you for watching. I put all the materials below. Leave any questions. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing.